Hello and welcome to a case unboxing! Such old school episode! Today we're going to unbox this leather back cover from Samsung that is for Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. This case is sold for $49, just like the leather case for iPhone. Now Samsung has a lot of cases. I picked this one because I like leather cases. I like how they age. So I'm hoping this is going to be the same way. So let's get to unboxing beauty shots and stuff. No, we're just going to open it up. And there it is. I actually unboxed this before and I was using it. You may have seen it in my previous video. Now the case in this case may look uh, very similar. It is very similar. It's as if like Samsung said, I don't like cases, so I went and made one. Look at you, Samsung. Very nice. I got that reference really good. Ooh, so, ooh, so tight. So tight, very nice. Now, the case is actually extremely similar. Buttons look the same. Even the writing here. Did it need to be exactly there? Look at the bottom. And of course, there's not much they can do for the camera hole. But at least you could have changed the color of this. You know, normally this phone is a little wiggly. Put the phone in. Let's put this one in. Yeah, pretty good. I feel like I feel like the iPhone case is higher on this end and that height goes all around the case. But with Samsung, there's not much height here, as you can see. But there's height here and at the bottom. So if, you're, if you drop your phone a lot, this may not be the best case for you. But if you need a case just for regular scratches and dents as you can see i already have something here and i don't know how this happened because this phone never left this house after the video was done and now this film on has these bubbles i don't know why i don't think there's much we can say about it it's a case it's going to protect your phone this is a 1400 hundred dollar phone so if you like it you should have put a case on it since we're talking about this i like to say something because a lot of this s20 stuff has that iphone feeling to it i mean it's nice, but I would like to tell you something because it's really hard to talk about Samsung when your channel's name comes from iPhone, even though a lot of people don't know that it comes from breaking the iPhone. And when I named my channel, none of this existed, but that's another story. But as a person who uses Apple products all day long for fun and for work, feel like I experienced both worlds a lot. I used to do IT and I used to sell PCs. I had a PC and a Mac. I had all of them. I like all of them. What matters to me is what gets the job done. And in this scenario, Apple gets the job done. Something goes wrong. I just go down the street. There's an Apple store there. You get your stuff done one way or another. That's why I really like Apple. I mean, if something goes wrong with my Samsung phone and if I have to go to Best Buy, I would try to avoid Best Buy as hard as I can. When the Note 7 fiasco happened, yes, it was something we talked about, but it wasn't funny because there has to be a competition. You can't leave Apple alone. If Apple is alone, we're all doomed. If Samsung is alone, we're all doomed. We need the competition, we need that. So they try to please us. We need a competition to YouTube. We need a competition to Twitter. We need a competition to Facebook. When there's no competition, this is what happens. As a person who loves competition, I decided to buy Note 8. And I did, and as I was reviewing it, I started enjoying it. That was my first Android phone. I enjoyed the design. I enjoyed the free goodies you get with the device, the memory card and everything. It, it was really good. And the reason I really liked Samsung was because they weren't Apple. And this is such important thing that separates Samsung from Apple. And I, I, I think they should never lose that. Isn't this like too similar? 
as I'm editing this video, I actually got curious. What do you think about this situation? What do you think about this competition? What do you think about this designs looking super similar? It's not about who stole from who. It's about if you're supporting one of them as if they're doing the right stuff, then they shouldn't be the copying one. That's the problem, I feel like. But I want to hear your thoughts now, like right now. I don't have a huge punchline for this subject, but I think I want Samsung to know as a person who use Apple products and will probably use Apple products for a really long time. I, I want you guys to know that the reason I really like Samsung phone is because they're not Apple. So I think that's one thing that they should never lose. So in the end, the case is real nice. It takes care of Wait, what? It takes care of most of the dingle dangle. Let me give you a classic phone reviewer pose for the thumbnail. Wait, 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 wait. I can turn into, let me, let's super staff this. Yes. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode, this new series, short but sweet videos. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Keep calm and wash your hands.